I just don't want you to see me putting it into my mouth. I say. Hello chaps, I hope you're well. It's a um, bit of a miserable day here in Gloucestershire. In fact, yesterday we had snow, which is a bit weird for the end of April. Complete madness. Anyway, today I've been to the World Food section once more and I've picked up another five American treats for us to try. So um, let's see how we get on today. Okay, chaps, so I thought I would bring you into the uh, living room for a change, so a bit of a change of scenery. Uh, this is my uh, very nice G-Plan coffee table, so um, yes, it's uh, a bit old, but um, nonetheless different to the usual uh, kitchen countertop. Now, we'll start with the first one, which is Milk Duds. Look at that. Um, now, I saw a yellow box and I immediately thought it would be peanut butter, as is uh, everything. Uh, with what we've tried before. Um, so these are milk loads, but actually made with chocolate and caramel, which is um, a nice change. 30% less fat. Uh, well, 30% less fat than the average of the leading chocolate candy brands. So um, there we go. Chocolate and caramel is healthy for once. Um, on the backs, there's all sorts of uh, you know, the, the thing they stick on the back with all these imports. Um, things and actually this this confirms something a, a lot of these sweets that we've seen um come in this kind of box uh you know these big boxes with actually a substantial amount of um candy inside them um we saw that in the last video um and it's uh, marketed here as a theater box so this is uh, clearly sort of designed for um maybe the you know the, the cinema when you go to watch a film or uh, or if you live in the US a motion picture um so yes uh, milk duds um Nothing much else on here. What does that say? Um, distributed by the Hershey Company. Oh, they make the chocolate, I think. Um, Hershey PA. PA. I can't I can never remember. I don't know what PA is. We'll find out. So, yes, let's try these. Milk duds. I mean, duds is a bad thing, isn't it? I mean, that doesn't that mean... Duds are like seconds, aren't they? Well, well, we'll try them and see if they are as dud as they make out. Right then, so the milk duds. Let's see um, see what these taste like. Um, no obvious opening, so I'll just... Uh, oh, here we are. Got this sort of cereal box type opening at the top here. So we'll go straight into these. And uh, they smell very chocolatey. And... Uh, oh, they're, they're a bit bigger than I was expecting. They're, uh, they're sort of... Well, sort of toffee shape, I guess. Right. Very chewy. I'll put another one in. Really chewy. I thought they were going to be soft caramel, but they're chewy caramel. The salt that pull your fillings out. It is that kind of Hershey chocolate, which wouldn't really taste of anything. But it's kind of like a more chewy Rolo. Not in that shape and covered in different chocolate. So in fact, it's nothing like a Rolo. I've been here for hours chewing these. Right then, so next up we have a very long fat one. It is... Doo -doo -doo. The Charleston Chew. Try frozen. Frozen? Try frozen. It's a sort of, you know, candy bar. Try frozen. That's a bit unusual. I've never seen that before. Um, none of the sweets in the UK, I don't think, say try frozen on them. Unless it's, you know, ice cream. Um, what does this say? Vanilla artificially flavoured. Hmm, there's a surprise. Um, the Charleston Chew. The Charleston, that's... Um, I think it's a place which also lends its name to the type of music or the 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 charleston is a it was it was a dance wasn't it the charleston <laughs> yes well anyway um so yes vanilla artificially flavored um corn syrup Blah, 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 partially. Uh, contains one or more of the following. Palm, I mean, that's not an ingredient. That's a, 
very inaccurate ingredients list. It says contains one or more of the following. Does that mean that not every bar contains all of these things? It might contain these things. There we go. Um, made in the... U oh, here we are. Tootsie Roll Industries. We remember them from the last video. The Tootsie Roll. The sort of weird, chewy, brown rectangle that was rather unusual. Um, yes. Try frozen. Well, I won't be freezing this one. Um, I fear that if I were to freeze it, I wouldn't be able to bite into it. Let's get you to focus, camera. There we are. Uh, produced in a facility that does not use peanuts, tree nuts, or gluten. Excellent. Peanut free. So that's good for me because I uh, I can't stand the peanut stuff. So the Charleston Chew. Let's see if it lives up to the exciting dance that it lends its name to. The Charleston Chew. Right, let's try that. Um, well, it's that long. So point of reference, it's that long. Um, the Charleston Chew, yes. Try frozen. Well, I haven't frozen this one. This is um, a room temperature one, which is how I tend to eat most snacks and sweets, is room temperature. Um, <clears throat> so, oh, now, that's a surprise. I thought it was going to be just vanilla, but it's actually chocolate. And I think it didn't mention chocolate on here, did it? It doesn't mention chocolate anywhere on the... On the, ah, it was hidden under the flap. I didn't see that. Chewy flavoured nugget, or nougat, uh, with a delicious chocolatey coating. So, um, yes, it did say chocolate on the top. So, um, but yeah, it's massive. Um, right, so let's um, get on with this. Mmm. Oh, yeah. It is exactly the same consistency as that. What was it called? Tootsie Roll? Exactly the same as that. Sorry, I shouldn't talk with my mouth full, but very rude. Exactly the same as that. Mmm, more chewing. Well, this Charleston Chew, it's, um, it wasn't unpleasant, it was, it was alright. But um, it's made by the, the Tootsie Roll people, uh, which is a, a chewy, kind of chocolate-flavoured nougat stick. Um, and what they've done here is they've made a vanilla one and then covered it in chocolate. So um, when it's, you know, in your mouth, it tastes exactly the same as just a, a normal Tootsie Roll, only it's flatter. It's got a sort of um, Mars bar shape, uh, or rather a sort of flatter Mars bar. Um, but uh, it's quite, it's pleasant. You can tell it's vanilla, sort of artificially flavoured vanilla. It's not quite, quite that kick that, you know, actual, you know, vanilla pods or Madagascan vanilla actually has. It's um, it's not as powerful a punch, but um, nonetheless, I will probably finish that too. Um, so with the milk duds and this, I am going to have no teeth left by the end of this video. Right, next. Okay, chap, so next up we have these. These are Brookside Dark Chocolate Pomegranate Flavour. Um, it just says Dark Chocolate Pomegranate Flavour with no U, um, and then nothing else. So uh, you have to look at the photo to work out what they are, and they are indeed soft fruit flavoured centres covered in smooth dark chocolates. Um, I'm always a bit worried about these things because, um, you know, I'm not a big fan of dark chocolate anyway, and fruit-flavoured centres with the chocolate around them, they either taste very good or very bad. It's, there's never any kind of middle ground. Um, new and exclusive. So, um, yes, maybe we, you know, maybe they've not been out for a while in the US. Um, made by a company called Brookside, which... Um, is uh, oh actually that's just given me some flashbacks of the 90s um if you live in the uk you'll uh, you'll certainly know what i'm referring to yes well Better be careful with these. That um, old uh, what was it? what's his name? What was that guy's name? Um, Jimmy um, Jimmy Corkhill. That's it. I think it's Cork Corkhill or Corkhill. Um, yes. Better be careful that he doesn't bury us under the patio for eating these. Right. So uh, intriguing combinations. What does this say? Yeah, it's a bit small. Um, at Brookside, we believe you shouldn't have to compromise on great taste. That's why we've covered fruit in chocolate, which is probably horrible. Uh, that's why we use intriguing combinations of ingredients and flavours, like pomegranate-flavoured centres, 
drenched in smooth dark chocolate. Oh God, my taste buds are tingling already. Um, to craft extraordinarily delicious treats. You will feel good about eating. Well, we'll see about that. Um, the little import sticker is ripped off of this one. So we've got the, um, the nutritional, well, the top of the nutritional facts from uh, the actual country that they're made in. And uh, not much else on here. What does that say? Fruit flavoured centres. Yes, yeah, great. You spelled centre wrong as well. The E and A R is around the wrong way. Um, what does this say? Anything interesting? Uh, oh. Manufactured in Canada by Brookside Food. Manufactured in Canada? I've been duped. These were on the USA shelf in the shop that I went to, which is um, which is Asda, um, uh, which is owned by Walmart if you live in the US. Um, so uh, maybe these aren't from the US of A. They are indeed from Canada, which is, um, I believe, somewhere in the US of A. Right, so uh, yes, Brookside will... Um, We'll try these balls of plenty. Balls of plenty. That's terrible. Um, these balls of pomegranate and chocolate, which um, I'm not really looking forward to, but we'll see. I might be pleasantly surprised. Okay, chap, so it's time for a trip down memory lane with Brookside. Um, these are the ones which I'm not looking forward to overly, but um, we'll see. So, um, I mean, compared to some of the other American treats, these are quite reserved. They're sort of, they don't have the you know, garish colours and wild cartoon drawings all over them. Um, they're sort of, they look like the sort of thing you'd buy in a health food shop. Um, although, I doubt you would. Right, so let's get the top off of these. They come in a sort of hanging pouch. So uh, we'll get this off. That comes off like that. And I can immediately smell cocoa. They're in a sort of resealable bag. And, uh, oh, they look a bit like the milk duds, actually. Obviously, sort of darker chocolate, but um, right, pomegranate and chocolate. Let's see how that works. Wish me luck. As I suspected, they're completely intolerable. Hmm. It's that kind of bitter, sweet, or maybe I, lots of people will like those. I just don't get on with them. They're kind of, they, they've got a kind of figgy consistency, sort of pasty. It's, it's sort of a rough, chewy texture. So um, hopefully that is because it's made with real fruit. Um, Fruit flavor or fruit flavored centers, um, but uh, yeah, the, the sort of bitter dark chocolate, and then you get this hit of sweetness all mixed with, with, with this weird kind of texture. I, um, I'm not a big fan of those, a lot of people like those, but um, I don't, so I'll be fobbing those off to somebody else, my fiance probably. I bet she likes them, right? Then, chaps, next up, it's another long one. In fact, this is a very long one. This is a tear and share Rainbow Nerds Rope. Soft and chewy. Um, yes, this thing is, um, well, I mean, it's long. It's, it's probably the same length as what an old curly whirly used to be before they, you know, went metric or whatever and made everything ridiculously small. Um, tear and share. Um, now, nerds, I know what nerds are. I've had nerds before. Um, they're like little chewy sort of bitty sweets used to come in sour and you know black blueberry and black kind of weird colors and flavors um well yes just like this in fact but these are on a rope uh so as far as i can work out these are nerds stuck to some sort of chewy oh here it is soft gummy rope covered with tiny tangly crunchy nerds candy well that's an easy sentence to say isn't it soft gummy rope covered with tiny Tangly, tiny, oh, sorry, tangy. I thought tangly wasn't a word. Um, uh, tangy, crunchy, nerds candy. There we go. And these are the nerds. Look at him. He, will he focus? He looks like a very, he looks like a cross between a hippo and a frog, the way he sat. I mean, maybe it's a cross between a, a dog sitting down with a moomin's face. Um, who remembers the moomins? I don't know what's wrong with his legs. He's certainly, I don't know. 
I, don't know, I think he's been locked in the Chernobyl reactor for too long, hasn't he? Look at that, blimey. Um, oh, we've got the full family on here. We've got um, upside down purple Tinky Winky. Um, there's uh, 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 Lala. And um, and Poe here is... Uh, oh, no, he could be Dipsy, couldn't he? He was the green one, wasn't he? What was it? Tinky Winky, Dipsy, Lala, and Poe. There we go. Um, I'm showing my age there. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Google the Teletubbies. And uh, if you're more fashionable than me, Google the Teletubbies and Ed Sheeran. Right, so um, there we are. Uh, 90 calories, it doesn't really say anything on here, other than our favourite phrase, which we remember from the first American Treats video that I did. The good stuff made in the USA. Um, yes. What does that say there? A thoughtful portion is half a rope. Oh, well, yes. It's not very often I measure my portions in lengths of rope, but um, there we go. How long is a piece of rope or piece of string? Well, the answer is twice as long as half its length. Right, let's try this. Right then, chaps, back to something exciting. It's time for the Rainbow Nerds Rope um, with our sort of modern day version of uh, the Teletubbies on. So um, it's a tear and share, but I won't be doing either of those things. Um, in fact, we might tear it just to see how well it tears, but uh, let's get this open. So it's uh, again surrounded by a sort of cardboard sheath, which appears to be about an inch longer than the actual thing itself. So this packet is a con. Um, and uh, oh my word, this is gonna drop everywhere. Um, I'm going to try and show this to you. It's, um, yes, it is literally just nerds on a sort of jelly rope. So um, this could be incredibly messy. Um, can you see that? Yes, let's, um, let's try and eat it out of the packet, because if I get it out, I think it's going to go everywhere. If I get it out, I think it's going to go everywhere. Well, <clears throat> let's, um, there's, I don't think there's any dignified way of doing this, chap. So I'm... I'm going to hide myself from you whilst I do it. Bear with me. Oh my word. I'd forgotten how sweet and sour the nerds were. You get this massive sugar rush. You can almost feel it going into your brain as your brain just goes, bloody hell, what's that? <clears throat> I've got a sweet tooth, but, in fact, I've got a very sweet tooth, but even for me, that's quite a hit. I can see why kids would love this. Um, I'm going to have another bit. Excuse me. Yeah, that's um, very sweet. And uh, it's sort of savagely bad for you, but um, equally very nice. <laughs> I like that one. Can we get some more of those? Right. I think we're on to the, uh, the last one now. Okay then, chaps. So our last one for today is some Icebreakers Sours. I thought I'd end with something sour, because if they are sour, then they're going to affect the flavour of everything else I try. Um, so uh, I just I got these because you know, they sort of an unusual packet, a kind of flat sort of hockey puck. Hockey puck. Look at me. An ice hockey puck being all American. I've, I've think ice hockey is a thing. I think I saw it in a film once. Um, so yes, you could, you know, use it as a very light puck afterwards. Um, so these are sugar-free. And what they say here is there's a little opening here that says to share. And then there's one down here that says not to share. I don't know whether that's just them saying, do you want to share them or not? Or whether that actually correlates with the opening on the thing. If this is, you know, the ones that you actually want to give somebody one, and then this, you open this one and it's fake and they can't get a sweet out or something. I don't know. But um, the flavours we have here are green apple, watermelon, uh, tangerine, that's unusual, and, uh, oh, that's it. So there are three flavours, green apple, watermelon, and tangerine. Um, tangerine's not overly sour, is it? I don't know. Um, so there we are. I don't know what, that, I mean, that looks like some sort of, if that's what they look like, that's unusual. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's not much to say about these other than they're, they're sour, and um, they've got about 400 E numbers in. So um, I'll eat these and then uh, I won't be able to sleep for the next three weeks. So uh, let's see what happens with these. Okay then, chaps, so here we are on to the, uh, the Icebreakers Sours. 
And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the little tab, if you remember, that says not to share, just to see if we can't get anything out of it. Uh, so let's get this open. Uh, hang on a second. Does this pop up? I'm presuming that pops up. Oh, yes. And, uh, oh, it is to share. And to share. Ah. So the to share one is when you're putting one out for somebody else and it's a small gap. And when you're not sharing them, i.e. you're eating them for yourself, you get the big holder so you can just chuck them in. And um, yes, they do indeed uh, look like what the picture said and they look like dishwasher tablets. So um, yes, they, they smell like, in fact, they all smell like the watermelon one. I think that's the most overpowering flavour out of the lot. So let's try, um, I think the most pinky one would be the watermelon, so let's try that. Mm-hmm. Pretty standard watermelon flavour. On the tower. Not overly. Mm, more sour the further you... The more sour the further you get down to them. Oh, blimey. So in 10 seconds I've gone from saying they're not sour to they're actually very sour. And it's that kind of sourness that you can feel on the back of your tongue. Which is going to go like that. It's not the sour that makes you go like that. It's the sour that makes you go like that. I'm going to bite this one so I can get rid of it. Right, okay. <coughs> so, that was watermelon, which was quite sour. Let's try tangerine. Hmm, much nicer flavour, this one, for my taste. It's um, still quite sour. I could only eat these one at a time. Mmm. <laughs> Blimey. I'm going to chew this one so I can get onto the apple one, which I suspect will be the most sour. Close those. Bloody hell, the closer you get to the centre, the more sour they become. Right. Apple. Last sweet of the day. Maybe I'm getting used to them. This one's not too bad. Oh my... Oh, God! It's the middle... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, chaps. It's the middle bit that's really sour. So... When you think, oh, it's getting to the really sour bit, you bite into it to get rid of it. And then it's the middle bit that's really, really sour. So when you bite into it and it all crushes up in your mouth, you just go... <laughs> the back of my tongue feels like it's burning. Almost like a sort of sweet chilli. So, um, yes, there we are. More sweets for me, for your viewing pleasure. Except if you didn't enjoy this video, I'm the only one that's benefited. Goodbye. I say.